Okay, wow. Uh, this is a really lucky find. We have two loaded level 6 drills right here. And the rest of the Dark Elixir is probably inside the town hall and the storage. I mean, it is inside. So we're going to attack from this side. Now, it's a good thing that he has uh, these walls right here separating these other structures. That just makes it much easier for my troops to all funnel towards the core. So it's going to be, it's, it's actually going to be very easy as I'll show you. I'm just going to spread my... Uh, giants here now target those splash defenses those wizard towers and stuff and i'm going to place that jump spell right there onto that mortar so what that's going to do is that that's going to allow all my giants to easily jump straight inside and also shield all my troops so yeah it's going to be very easy as i'm predicting it to be so here as you can see all my troops have all funneled inside thanks to his walls right there and just waiting for my troops to go inside that core. My king has gone inside the core. And uh, right before I pop his ability, I'm just going to activate my queen's ability. And here I'm just going to activate his ability to get some of the, some of the gold storages and head out with around 4,000 dark elixir. Wow. Okay, nice. Free storage right outside here. So I'm just going to use a few barbarians, spread them around, send out my queen. Don't need to use any giants. And uh, with her range, she can target that uh, dark storage. And that should be around 1500 dark elixir. Okay, here we have a Town Hall 9 with Town Hall 8 level defenses. So it should be pretty easy, especially with the heal spell. So let's see, we're going to start off here, remove that camp. Uh, remove this camp and that gold mine. And spread out our... Oh no, accidentally spread out my... Uh, wall breakers instead of my giants so <laughs> that was a huge mistake there because uh now it's gonna be tough breaking inside but i'm gonna use that uh heal spell and i'm gonna have to use a raid spell now uh to have them get inside before the splash defenses deal too much damage and kill all my uh barbarians and archers so here i'm gonna use that poison spell on this clan castle troops and activate my Queen's ability and she's gonna get the town hall and that should basically do it. Let's end it there. 1900 dark elixir plus the bonus, awesome. Okay, here we have a strong town hall 9 base. So practically the same method again, use the wall breaker, nothing's inside the clan castle, remove that army camp. Uh, this is a very popular base and I've attacked it so many times and it's just so easy to beat as well. Spread out my giants and open up the first layer with wall breakers and then spread the rest of my archers in send in the rest of my troops, clan castle, place a jump spell right there and uh, use a heal spell because of the splash damage and it's just going to be very easy to have all my troops now go straight inside as you can see a very po poor funneling system in this base just allows all my giants and troops to all funnel straight inside that core and uh, it's just gonna be a piece of cake getting that dark elixir storage and town hall so we're just gonna end it there since we've got um, got what we need 2500 dark elixir awesome okay so basically on my first next we found this town hall 9 uh, pretty weak defenses, level 8 defenses, so it should be a breeze walk in the park. No spells, but that's fine. It, sh it should still be very easy. So I'm just going to spread out my uh, giants here. Not many outside structures. And open up two... Spread my wall breakers, two groups. Open up there. Uh, we have a wizard tower there, which is a threat. Let's open that wall up and send the rest of our... Uh, wall breakers on that side open that compartment we have clan castle threat not really a problem um, and uh, that should be it <laughs> my troops can now target the dark elixir storage right over the wall so here i'm just going to activate my queen's ability and just head out with that dark elixir and that's going to be 2000 dark elixir awesome 
Okay, this is gonna be our last raid as we make 100,000 Dark Elixir. Awesome, and it's gonna be a very easy one to Town Hall 8 base. So, and I also don't have spells, so I don't need that. And uh, it should be a piece of cake because it's a Town Hall 8 base. So I'm just gonna use Wall Breakers here. I'm uh, gonna get that Town Hall very easily, so already made my 138,000 Dark Elixir. And I'm gonna spread out my archers here. Wished I had more wall breakers so I could have opened up uh, that second layer, but that's fine. Because uh, the walls aren't that strong, they're only level 7, so it won't take too long. But I'm losing my giants. <laughs> Some of them are moving around out of out and outside. Uh, so, so yeah, but still, it was very easy. Got the dark elixir storage, and I'm just going to head out there with the 50% win as well. So that's gonna be 1400 Dark Elixir plus 100, so 1500. Nice. Okay, guys, I made it 100,000 Dark Elixir, and I did it a lot quicker than I had anticipated. It only took me about five hours of farming to do so, and in total, I did about 55 raids uh, to farm 100,000 Dark Elixir. And if you look at my profile, you can see that I have 34 attacks won, so that means that I've won around 60% of the attacks and lost about 40% of them. And the attacks I lost were basically me trading a few trophies uh, for lots of Dark Elixir. Also, note that on average, it took me around seven searches to find a base to attack. And the reason for this is because I'm able to attack any Town Hall 9 base that has Dark Elixir. There's practically no Town Hall 9 base that can stop me from stealing the Dark Elixir when I have Giants, Barbarians, Archers, and an Archer Queen with Raid Spell, Heal Spell, and Jump Spell. And uh, you guys have seen that evidence from this series. So hopefully you guys have learned a lot from this as it just goes to show that no Town Hall 9 or lower base is safe. And with proper planning, deployment and, and timing, as well as a great understanding of funneling and the mechanics of the game, you too can master farming Dark Elixir at a very fast pace. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video and this series, and would like to see me do more of these in the future, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also comment below. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't. I would, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. Later.